You've got a business idea that you know will provide value in the marketplace, that you want to turn into a profitable business. But how do you get your message about your products and or services you offer out to the world? Or perhaps you've been running your business for a while, but you're just not getting enough customers or consistent sales. Something is holding your business back. Whether you are planning on starting an online or offline business, or have an existing online or offline business, you've got to go beyond just a website and create a web presence for your business. This video series is designed to help show you how to do just that. And this particular video will lay out what is in store for you in the rest of the series. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to the introduction video for the video series, how to easily create a web presence for your business, even if you have zero technical skills. I'm sure we can agree that getting the word out about your business and the products or services that you provide is a pretty critical step to take you from business idea to successful business. The greatest idea in the world will do nothing for you or those you wish to serve if people aren't aware of it. So what's the first step? Get a website set up and wait for the phone to ring? Of course not. But many business owners have a static website that just sits there and perhaps works for providing some background information on who you are and what you can do for your potential clients or customers if, and it's a big if, if they find your site somehow. But that's about it. So what exactly is a web presence then? Unlike a passive website that just sits there, a web presence is engineered to actively bring specifically targeted prospects to you giving you the online equivalent of the opportunity to introduce yourself and your business to that prospect, having them get to know you, like you, and trust you by offering them value in advance before even asking for their business. By figuratively taking them by the hand, you can lead them through how your products or services can solve potential problems they may have, all the while monitoring and tracking all visitor activity to improve the efficiency of your system. Following up with your prospects to increase the number of touch points they have with you and your brand because as you likely know, prospects rarely buy something the first time they see it, either by capturing their contact information in exchange for value from you or by utilizing retargeting or remarketing to get back in front of those that have shown enough interest to visit your site, watch a video of yours, or click on one of your ads. Imagine how dramatically different the result would be for the business owner with just a website versus the business owner with a full web presence. As you're starting your business or trying to re-energize an existing one, wouldn't you like to have an advantage like that over your competition? In this video series, my goal is to help you from a marketing perspective, fill in as much of the gap as I can between your idea and the profitable business you want by showing you how to set up the critical backend of your web presence for your business. What do I mean by backend? Just like a store maybe has a retail presence at the front that's all nice and polished and hopefully inviting to their customers, etc. But in the back part of the store, the part that says staff only, is where all the behind the scenes work happens. Maybe a warehouse with deliveries coming and going, inventory up to the ceiling, a small office where the owner manages everything, pays the bills, does the bookkeeping, calls the suppliers, etc. Or like a restaurant at supper time has a comfortable dining environment for its patrons at the front, but behind the kitchen doors, all hell is breaking loose. Servers running back and forth, cooks preparing meals, dishwashers washing, managers managing, etc. The reason I bring up those examples is to highlight the contrast between the front end, the inviting showroom or comfortable dining establishment, and the back end or the behind the scenes activity that you rarely see but where the true engine of the business is housed. In that sense, it is not much different than the online version of a business. There's a pretty website and social presence you see, or at least hopefully see, on the front end, but there is also the back end that helps make the front end look good and hopefully run smoothly. Think of the back end of your web presence like your business's marketing infrastructure. I'm Kevin Stryker with TrueLift Digital Marketing. I created my first web-based venture way back in the dinosaur age of the internet, 1996, but obviously a lot has changed since then. Technological advances have, in many senses, made marketing a lot easier for business owners, but at the same time, the internet space has also grown more competitive. You simply can't run a business today like I ran mine in 1996. Since starting that first online venture way back then, I've spent some time in the corporate world before going back to entrepreneurship full-time in 2006 with different businesses. I'll do my best to pass along what I've learned in running those businesses from a marketing perspective in this video series. 
While there is no shortage of theoretical information on the internet to point you in the direction of steps to take in setting up your business, what I'm going to do in this video series is take you behind the scenes with me where you can watch over my shoulder as I take an idea of mine and set up the web presence for it that you can follow along with and apply to your business. You'll see each step, each screen, each click, so even if you're not tech savvy or have anxiety related to technical overwhelm, you can follow along at your own pace with the ability to pause, rewind, resume, etc. As a side note, if you're wondering, I created this video that you are watching now after going through the web presence setup for my business. I should also point out that my videos tend to be longer videos, and in this instant world, I know that hearing that might cause people to want to tune out or lose interest, even if just subconsciously. But the reason for that is definitely not to waste your precious time because I do want you to get your business off the ground as quickly as possible, so just the opposite. I just don't want to go through them super quickly just for the sake of having a shorter video, but then leave you with a whole bunch of questions and gaps in your understanding of why something is the way that it is. So you'll not just get the what to do, but also the why, which I think is important because understanding the process and rationale better allows you to see the specific connections and will ultimately save you time and hopefully save you from the situation of, okay, I did this even though I didn't know what I was doing, now I don't know how to undo it or fix it which from personal experience can lead to massive frustration and become an unnecessary time waster. Or if you do go the route of outsourcing some of your web presence setup, you will have enough background on what is involved to ensure contractors don't take advantage of you or overcharge you. Having said that, in each video there are also timestamps, kind of like a digital table of contents, that you can click on to take you straight to that part of the video that you are interested in or want to see again if you are watching this on YouTube. To get there, just go below this video if you're watching this in YouTube and on a desktop or laptop, and in the description area, just click on the Show More button. And in the area labeled Timestamps, you'll find various sections of the video that you can click on to take you to that part of the video. Or if you are watching this on mobile, click the little downward pointing triangle to the right side of the title of the video, and the rest of the description area will be made available to you. And inside there, you will see that digital table of contents or timestamp. Unfortunately, as of the time of recording this video, the timestamp links aren't clickable in mobile, so you'll have to note the desired time and move the scrubber manually to that point of the video. So knowing what you now know, why doesn't everyone have a web presence? While I can't speak for everyone, I think there are likely a few reasons. They may not know what you know now about the difference it can make in your business, or they don't know where to start or what order to complete the various steps involved or perhaps they get overwhelmed by the concept of doing something that they think is only for the tech guys and they simply don't think that they can do it themselves. Well hopefully after I explain what the advantages are, you can now strike number one off the list, but if not, this video series will help you get a clearer picture of the power of having an effective web presence set up. If you don't know where to start or what steps to take or in what order, I've put together the ultimate web presence checklist that is designed to provide a roadmap for you to solve that specific problem and act as a companion to this video series, if you like, that you can follow along with. In it, you will also find access to tips and tools to use during setup. Perhaps that is what brought you to this video in the first place, but if not, if you want your own copy of the Ultimate Web Presence Checklist, you can download it for free by clicking on the link in the description area. And lastly, if you feel like you're not tech savvy enough to do this yourself, that is where this video series steps in, by showing you step by step how to implement your own web presence for your business. Let me show you what we'll cover in this series. Like I said, having a website is still very much a part of establishing your web presence. In fact, it will serve as your business's hub that you get potential customers to by various different means. For that reason, provided you have a business name in mind, we'll start at the very beginning in video 2 with a live demonstration of how to register your domain name with Namecheap. Then in video 3, we'll get into choosing a hosting plan and getting started with HostGator. If you don't know how to use your hosting plan, it isn't going to be much good to you, so in video 4, we'll go over getting to know HostGator's customer portal and cPanel or control panel. We'll then connect your domain name from video 2 and your hosting plan from video 3 together in video 5. And if you're not following along with what I'm saying here, don't worry. These videos will explain everything. In video 6, we'll install your content management system onto your website, specifically WordPress. Once WordPress is installed, I'll give you a crash course on WordPress in video 7 so that you can comfortably use it yourself to create content like pages and posts. In video 8, I'll show you 6 must-have plugins for your website. 
We'll do an introduction to search engine optimization or SEO in video 9, as well as how to configure the Yoast SEO plugin. I'll show you different ways that you can find a theme for your website that will change the look and feel to suit your taste and best serve your customers and clients in video 10. Once we have all that website stuff doing what we want it to do, we'll switch our attention over to setting up key social profiles for your business, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google Plus in video 11 part 1 so that we can get traffic coming to your site from more than just search. In part 2 of video 11, we'll set up a Facebook business manager if you're interested in going that route and also creating a Facebook ad account to give us another means to bring even more traffic back to your website, this time using paid means. And once we have all of that set up, in video 12, to improve as much as we can in your web presence system, we'll set up analytics to track the actions visitors take on your website, helping us make sure we remove obstacles that are standing in the way from getting the value you offer, which ultimately results in more sales for you. We'll also set up methods to track those that came to your website, YouTube channel, or viewed any of your ads, but didn't take the action that you wanted them to, and rather than losing that potential prospect, getting in front of them again through retargeting, so you can create multiple touch points with those that have already shown interest in you or your brand, like we spoke about earlier. After all that, you will have the back end of your web presence set up and ready to turn the machine on to get more prospects and convert more of them into customers, through the value that you provide to them to better position your business for real growth. Much more than just a passive website that just sits there and is hopefully seen by somebody that might be interested. If you're possibly thinking, man, that sounds like a lot of work. While many would try to suggest how easy it is, the truth is it does take some work to set up initially. But after that, it is largely an automated function and rest assured, any efforts made have a massive return on investment of your time. Time for direct honesty. If you are looking for easy, then if you're not aware of it yet, you're going to find out very soon that running a business can be very difficult at times. So make sure you are clear on that going in. But the good news with that is that as you encounter each obstacle and overcome it, you'll get better at tackling those obstacles and each success gets you closer to the real reason you started a business in the first place, whatever that is for you. Not always easy, but definitely rewarding. So if you're on board, let's get at it and start your web presence at video two, where we'll get you a domain name so that your prospects have a place to go to find you on the web. And even if you don't join me after this point, I wish you nothing but the best of success in your business, but more importantly, happiness and fulfillment in your life. To go to video two now, just click the link on your screen or in the description area. I'll meet you over there.